Hello all. Today we are going to talk about on, the prefix on, at the beginning of a word, to make the opposite. So what do you mean by the prefix on? The prefix on means not. So when we put the prefix on at the beginning of the word, we mean that we are making the opposite. So here we have the word happy. And when we put the prefix or the beginning on, it will be unhappy, which means not happy. And here the word well, okay. And we put the prefix on, which means not, it will be unwell. As you can see the girl, she's unwell. And here we have the word certain. Certain, which means he's sure. And now, let's put the prefix un, or the beginning un, which means not. So, it will be uncertain, which means not certain, not sure. Comfortable, comfortable. And now, we're going to put the prefix un, which means not. So, it will be un comfortable uncomfortable and then the man here is unlucky he's not lucky at all because he's having an accident so unlucky we need someone to help us so he is going to be helpful but we when we put the prefix un or the beginning un which means not it will be unhelpful. So the man is unhelpful, which means that he is not helpful. So we need all of you to be kind to your friends. But sometimes some people are not kind. So we call them unkind, not kind. The place is so messy, so it is not tidy. So, we need another word for not tidy. We put the prefix or the beginning un, which means not. So, we have untidy, untidy, which means not tidy, untidy, which means not tidy here we have some more words we have the word zip when you zip up and unzip well he's feeling well no he is unwell fault fault unfold unfold pack pack which means to put things in the pack and unpack to get things out of it. Unpack to get things out of it. Lucky, it's raining and she's lucky to have her own umbrella. But it's raining and the two boys, they are having no umbrellas. So they are unlucky. Even. Uneven. Okay, then. Now I want you to open your grammar book. Unit 13. It's the grammar book 1B. Unit 13. And now we are using the un beginning, the prefix un, for making opposites. Opposites. So let's look at the first one. The first one is happy. What is the opposite of happy without using not and using the same word happy? We're going to put the prefix un at the beginning. So it will be unhappy. Happy. Unhappy. Tidy. The room is so tidy. So... Let's look at the opposite of the word tidy by adding the beginning un, 
when you add the beginning un, which means not, so it will be untidy, which means that the room is so messy. Number three, the man is so friendly. He's so friendly. But the other man is shouting angrily. So he is not friendly. He is unfriendly. Unfriendly. Okay. The girl is successful. The girl is successful. But the boy is not. He is unsuccessful. He is unsuccessful. So let's read the numbers one more time because we are going to play a memory game. Number one, happy, unhappy. Number two, tidy, untidy. Number three, friendly, unfriendly. Number four, successful, unsuccessful. Okay, I'm going to read them one more time and I want you to repeat after me, okay? Are you ready? Number one, happy, unhappy. Number two, tidy, untidy. Number three, Friendly, unfriendly. Number four, successful, unsuccessful. Now, I want you to open page 29 and let's look here. We have the word lucky and we are going to add the prefix or the beginning un for the opposite. So, lucky and unlucky. Okay. In exercise letter B, we are going to play a memory game for the previous page. So, do you remember the pictures? Okay. So, let's try to remember together. So, picture number one, letter A. It is a space face. So the face was a very good, happy face. Excellent. So picture letter B. It is an space face. Excellent, unhappy face. Picture number two. In number two, we have two pictures. The first one, it is a space room. Do you remember the room? Yeah, the first room was. Very good, tidy. What about the second room? It is an very good, untidy room. Excellent. Let's go to picture number three. In number three, we had two pictures. The picture of the first man. He was shaking his hand with the little boy and he was friendly. Excellent. And the second picture of number three, the man was shouting and he was totally unfriendly. Very good. Unfriendly. Excellent. Let's move to number four. In number four, we had two pictures. The first picture was a picture of a girl and the second picture was a picture of a boy. So let's try to remember about the girl. The girl was very good. She was successful. And what about the boy? The boy was excellent. Unsuccessful. Okay. Now let's move to the spelling book 1B. I want you to open unit 27. It's also talking about the un beginning or the prefix un which is used for making the opposite okay it means the same as the word not so here we have some key words let's look at the key words we have 
undo. So we have do and undo. Untidy, tidy, untidy. Unlock. So we have lock and unlock. Fair and unfair. Lucky and unlucky. Pack and unpack. Dress and undress. Zip and unzip. Load and unload. Happy and unhappy. Okay, I want you to look here at the pictures. Here we have the girl. She's taking off her clothes. So she undress. Undress. The boy is going to open the lock of the bag. So he is going to unlock. Unlock. And the lady here, she's taking things out of the bag. She is unpack, unpack. And the boy is not lucky at all because his ice cream fell down. So he is unlucky boy. He is unlucky boy. So his friend is looking at him and he's not happy for him. He is not happy for him. So he is unhappy. He is unhappy, which means that he is not happy at all. So here we have a car and we are getting the load out of the car. We are getting things out of the car, out of the truck. So we unload the truck. Unload the truck. So the man is not playing well. He is unfair in his playing unfair which means that he's not fair at all the boy is doing what very good unzip so in this picture what is he doing unzip very good what about this picture what about the bottom here he's undo very good undo excellent all of you excellent all of you so now again here we have the spelling book page 27 un the prefix un which means not at the beginning of the word the prefix un which means not at the beginning of the word so here we have the keywords that we have just discussed and the picture at the top and then let's move to the focus exercise what is the name of this exercise again? It is the focus exercise. So we are doing the focus exercise letter A. Match a keyword from each of these pictures clues. Write the word in your book. So we are going to write the word on the lines here, but please try to improve your handwriting. Okay, so let's start. Number one, he's opening the lock of the gate. So what is he doing? Excellent. Unlock the gate. Number two, the lady or the girl is getting the load out of the trolley. So she is unload. Unload. Number three, She's taking off her dress. So she is undress. Undress. Very good. Number four. She's taking things out of the bag. She is unpacking. She's what is she doing here? She's unpacking. Unpack. Here's a boy is not happy or he is not lucky. So he is unhappy or unlucky he is unhappy or unlucky okay and what is she doing here what is she doing here unzip unzip so in exercise letter b is asking you to write two more words that begin with the prefix un so we can write tidy and untidy 
sure and unsure okay so you can add these two more words like tidy and untidy sure and unsure let's move to the next page of unit 27 of the spelling book 1b so now here we are in page 29 which is the second page of unit 27 of the spelling book 1b and now we are doing the extra exercise and the extra exercise letter a here we have instructions let's read the instructions first find a smaller word in each of the words in the box here we have words in the box write them in your book so we are going to cross out the prefix un from each word to write a smaller word what shall we do now we need to draw a line under each picture and write neatly on the line so let's read the words together unable so when we move or remove the prefix un what will the word be very good it will be able uncover so we are going to cross out the prefix un and the word will be cover very good unfit now we need to cross out the prefix un so the word will be fit which means a strong untie untie so we are going to cross out the prefix un so we will have the verb tie and tie can be a noun and a verb at the same time. Okay. Unusual. Unusual. So we're going to cross un. It will be usual. Okay. So here we have all the answers. Unable and able. Uncover and cover. Unfit and fit. Untie untie unusual and usual so in, in the extra exercise letter b the instructions it is telling you to write a word from the box to match each of these pictures so let's look at the man here he is a waiter and he's working in a restaurant he's having a plate full of food and here we have the cover of the plate so what did he do he uncover the plate uncover the plate and in picture number two they are running the boy is very strong and he's running very fast but the girl cannot run fast she is unfit unfit and here we have the word untie the shoelace untie the shoelace the extension exercise here we have a box with some explanation when we add un at the beginning of a word the new word has the opposite meaning which means that we have the word the happy and if we want to make the opposite of the word the happy we can add the prefix or the beginning on which means not to make the opposite so the word is going to be unhappy which means that the same as sad unhappy which is the same as sad so we have happy and we can make the opposite by adding the prefix un it will be unhappy okay now we are going to do the same we are going to add the prefix un at the beginning of each word to make the opposite so add the prefix un which means not to these words to make the opposite okay so we have the the first word which is fold what is the opposite of fold by adding the prefix un which means not 
Excellent, I can hear you. It's unfold. What is the opposite of seen? When we add the prefix un, which means not. Very good. Unseen. What is the opposite of even? When we add the prefix un, which means not. Excellent. Uneven. What is the opposite of sure? When we add the prefix un, which means the same as not. It will be unsure. Likely. What is the opposite of the word likely? When we add the prefix un, which means the same as not. So the opposite of the word likely is excellent, unlikely. And here are the words. Fo fold, unfold. Number two, seen, unseen. Number three, even, uneven. Number four, sure, unsure. Number five, likely, unlikely. Very good. We are doing the same extension exercise, but now we are working on exercise letter B. And then exercise letter B. He wants you to write a sentence using one of the words you have made. So we won't use one of these five words to make sentences. What I want you to do now is to draw a line and to write neatly on the line. So what do you think the sentence is going to be? Okay. So here we have the first sentence. The comprehension text in your exam is going to be unseen, which means that it is a new one. You haven't seen it before. So the comprehension text is unseen. The question is unseen. Okay. Let's make another sentence by using the word fold and unfold. Okay. Do you know... What do people usually do when they receive gifts and the presents in their birthdays? They open the gift. So, another word for opening the gift, it's unfold it. So, what did the girl do? She unfolded the presents that she got in her birthday. She unfolded the presents that she got in her birthday. And that is the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoy it. And I want you to do your homework in the workbook of the same units that we discussed today. And I want you to do the last unit of the handwriting workbook. And thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.